We move to the beach house. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Okay, so technically it's a welcome back to myself, to my channel. Since I've been gone for a while over a year, 13 months to be exact, since I've uploaded on YouTube. So I thought I would make a little update video for you guys, those of you asking if I'm coming back to YouTube, where I've been and all of that. So let's get into it. So for those of you who are new around here, my name is Angelique Groff. I am a South African wife and mom to two little ones. And on my channel, I do create loads of different content, but I have had a break from YouTube for about 13 months. It was never the plan to be away for that long, um, but I will explain a little bit more in this video. For those of you stuck around, even though I didn't upload, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And for those of you who are new and subscribed, even though I didn't upload anything, thank you to you as well. I really do appreciate all of the support on this channel. Okay, so first up, let's start with where have I been? Why haven't I been uploading? Because I have had some of those questions. Um, so my initial plan was to take a few weeks off, maybe a month or so after baby boy was born in January of last year. But it turned out to be much longer than that. Um, both my husband and I felt like we really needed to take a break from social media. So I wasn't on Instagram, I wasn't on Facebook, and I wasn't on YouTube as well for very long. And then um, both my husband and I spent some time with the Lord. It was really important for us to just get reconnected and just for me personally to realize what was important. Um, so we took a break from any social media. Um, so yeah, the thought behind it was to have a little bit of a break just to get used to us being a family of four, spending some time with little baby, getting to know him and all of that. And then it turned out to be much longer than that. But that is the reason that I haven't been on here um, because we did take quite a long break. I did get back to Instagram and Facebook quite a while ago. Um, but YouTube, I'm only starting up again now. And then second, what has been happening? It's been 13 months. Um, so just as I mentioned, my husband and I both spent some time with the Lord. And so in that time that I was away from YouTube, I found out about a pastor from America coming to South Africa for a conference. And we've been following this pastor for quite a while. We absolutely love listening to his sermons. And so I asked my husband if it would be okay if we um, just go and see him. And while we were in Hartbeespoort, for those of you who didn't know, Northwest, that side of the world. And um, so the conference that he was at was in East London in the Eastern Cape. And so my husband said, yeah, it would be great. So I started looking for some places for us to go. And then we decided to make a little bit of a holiday out of it because it was close to my birthday. And I've been wanting to go to the beach for the longest time. This year, my husband and I will be married six years. And I've been saying that I want to go on holiday every year since we met. And so it was at the beach, so we thought we'd make like a holiday out of it, make it like a pre-birthday um, celebration for me as well. And so we booked everything and um, just a few, like a month or so before, my husband came to me and he said, we're not coming back. <laughs> Um, we need to sort out our things, find house, everything. The Lord told my husband we needed to move east. So we actually didn't know exactly where. All we knew is we were moving to the Eastern Cape. And well, that is what happened um, in June of last year. We moved to the Eastern Cape and that's where we've been ever since. So um, that's what's been happening. We moved house and we now live in the Eastern Cape. 15 hours away from where we used to live. So it was quite the big move, but I couldn't be happier. I am so excited to wake up here every single day. The Lord has answered my prayers in a million different ways with us moving here. So what we initially thought would be just like a little bit of a less than a week holiday turned out to be a full-time stay. And I'm so thankful and grateful for that. But yeah, that's what's been happening. We did move um, and yeah, 
we're here now. Okay, so other than us moving and me not being on YouTube, I thought I'd just update you guys on the kids and the dog. <laughs> um, so for those of you who have been following, um, we did get a dog for Seth for Christmas of 2022, I think it was. I've been away for so long, I need to remember what which year. But that vlog is still up from Vlogmas, when I did Vlogmas that year. And um, I think it was a few days, a day or two before Christmas, we surprised him with a puppy. Um, we named him Rainbow. And well, he has gotten so big. Um, so I thought I'd update you guys on the dog as well for those of you interested. For those of you who did follow our family, I'm pretty sure you guys are curious to know about the kids and the dog. Um, so yeah, Rainbow has gotten extremely big. Um, he has since outgrown his puppy behaviors, eating and biting everything, which I'm thankful for. But yeah, he's just, he's so fun to have around. And the kids absolutely love him. He thinks he's like a third child in our house. He wants to eat as we eat. He wants to do literally everything that we do. Um, and I also can say he has been absolutely loving the beach here. Um, he loves our like daily or every other day going to the beach. He absolutely loves playing on the beach, playing frisbee on the beach. So yeah, he is thriving at the moment. And then Seth just turned four. I started my channel when he was just eight months old. So for those of you who have been following along for the longest time, thank you. And yeah, he just turned four last week and he's also been thriving. He's absolutely been loving the beach. Just before we came here, he spoke about the beach literally every day for a month. Just out of the blue, he just said he wants to go to the beach. Um, he's never been before, so that was also a great confirmation for us. Um, that we knew we needed to come here is because he's been speaking about the beach. So yeah, he was really excited when we moved here. He loves the beach, asks us every single day to go down to the beach. So he's been loving it. He's been really good. He's still at home with me. Um, I'm going to be homeschooling him and little baby boy. Um, I still call him baby boy because I haven't announced his name on YouTube yet. Um, but yeah, he's doing really, really great. Hello, Seth. And also, I wanted to mention this just because I know I'm going to have some questions. He's not at the age yet of um, losing teeth, um, but show them your, your tooth. What happened? I fell on the stairs. You fell on the stairs the day after Christmas, the, literally the, the, the day after my last vlog. Um, of vlogmas that year he was playing outside and I called him just to like see where he was at and he came running toward me and then he tripped and he fell on the pavement and he literally fell his tooth out um, it was dangling we had to take him somewhere where they could pull it it was what? it was red obviously and then the dog that this is up and that I think yeah, she gave him an uh, ice lolly to just like numb the pain and for the lip because he also he was he bit into his lip. Here, let's see if we can show them. And um, she had to glue it together there. Yeah. Um. So that was what he's talking about the like the ice lolly that he had to use. I'm adding this just. For those of you who will have questions about his tooth, that's what happened. But he's pretty fun. I cried more than he did. Um, he was just like laughing with his daddy. I cried for literally two to three days about it. It was really sad to me, but luckily it's going to grow back soon. Um, it's still his milk teeth. There goes Joshua. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you guys, update you guys. His hair is just super long. But yeah. I thought I'd just share with you guys where everyone's at and little baby boy. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, if you do, you would have seen a million pictures of um, the boys and us moving. You would know that already. But for those of you who only follow me on YouTube, um, I haven't pronounced his name on here yet. And also, you guys haven't seen him if you don't follow me on Instagram. So his name is Joshua. He was born in January 
and he is one here well he's 13 months right now he's in a different room right now i will introduce you to him in just a second um, but yeah he's just been so much fun um, him and Seth are really starting to play together now. It took quite a while because obviously he was still a baby, um, but they're at the age right now that they're really starting to play together. It's really been fun to see them becoming best friends. And he also absolutely loves Rainbow. I was really careful with how close Rainbow got to him. Um, just because of all the dog hair and things like that but right now whenever he sees Rainbow he literally either goes like flat on him on his tummy and squishes his face into him or he sets his back against Rainbow and goes and lies down on him so he absolutely loves the dog they are like those three are best friends um, which I absolutely love say hello so this is Joshua he's 13 months now say hello <laughs> he doesn't feel like being in front of the camera right now but i thought i'd just show you guys what he looks like for those of you who don't follow me on instagram but yeah that is pretty much the updates that i wanted to share with you guys just so i don't just jump in with vlogs and then you guys are like where have you been and you have all of these questions so i thought i would just make this video now you know we've moved um, we've been doing really well and I'm back making videos on YouTube. So I have been vlogging this past week. Um, the boys combined birthday parties was in this week. So because Joshua turned one in January and Seth turned four last week, we decided to do a combined birthday party for him. We invited some family who lives um, quite far away, 13 plus 15 hours away. So we, we invited them for like a week holiday here with us. And then in that week, we just had the birthday parties. So I didn't do as much as I usually do with birthday parties because it was combined. And also my focus was more on getting the house ready for everyone to come visit. So um, we combined their birthday parties and also vlogged the week of everyone visiting us. So we did quite a lot of things. We celebrated the boys' birthdays and then we had so many things that we wanted to do. So I vlogged most of the time. There were days that I didn't vlog just because um, I wanted to also spend time with everyone and just forget about the phone and filming for a little bit but I did vlog quite a lot so those will be up shortly after this video I did also do a shopping video with me for February I also did a February grocery haul which is going to be up literally at the end of February <laughs> but because I did want to upload this video first make it uploaded and then start with all of the vlogs and the videos it's going to be a little bit late so February and March grocery haul would be close to each other um, but that's okay I just want to get it up for you guys get some content on for the, those of you who have been asking some of you did say you missed the vlogs. I had some questions over on Instagram as well. Where am I? Am I coming back? So I hope this answers some of your questions. If you have any other, drop them in the comments down below. You can also follow me on Instagram if you wish to. I did post more there and I do sometimes tend to post more on Instagram daily as well. So follow me on there if you want to follow like daily things that we do that I don't post on YouTube. And with all of that said, thanks for watching and thanks for being here even though I wasn't here. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!